Hey, hello, and welcome back again to the Hide Herm Studio art stream. I'm your host, Hoy, illustrator, animator, graphic designer, and also voice actor. And, uh, looks like I am signing. So, oh, here I am. So, yeah, welcome back again. Welcome back. So, we're going to go ahead and put on some proper tools here and get back into illustration here. We just got back from Golden State Fur Con. And let me tell you, let me tell you, it was extremely fun. Let me go ahead and put on some tunes here for a second here. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Here we are. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. But yeah, we just got back from Golden State Fur Con. And so Kai and I had a blast. We met a lot of people. I also met YouTube celebrity uh, Kai who always does walkthroughs at a lot of conventions and stuff like that. So I was super stoked to meet him and everything, which was really cool. I was really happy about that. And um, also, uh, we also got into the League of Extraordinary Furries, which was a secret tiki club inside of the Golden State Furcon Hilton Hotel. And it was very fancy, but also really small. So it got, it got, uh, it got a lot of people Got a lot of people in there uh, whatsoever. Got packed really quick. So I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> but it was definitely a really good show. And I hopefully will be able to do it again. And Kai and I definitely had a blast there. So it was a great show than anything else. So super fun. Super fun all the way. So I am stoked about that. So... Let's go ahead and get some stuff out of the way here. Boom. Let's see. Boom. And. Boom. And I also forgot to go inside here for a second. But let's see how's chat doing today. If chat's even alive. Getting some new people coming in. Person named, we got a shark and a, there's a person named Big John. Wild. All right, let's go on the stream here. Boop. Here we are. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, no, Gold State Fur Con was a blast. And so our coming up next, we are going to be over at Level Up Expo, by the way. We're going to be over at Level Up Expo. And stuff like that. And let's see. Level Up Expo is coming up here this month on the 26th through the 28th. So we're located over in Las Vegas is the uh, situation here. So we're definitely going to be at Level Up Expo. Did you know that Bibsy Pop is going to be at Level Up Expo? Uh, she's going to be there and a bunch of other peeps. Animation peeps are going to be there too. Which I am super stoked about. It's going to be a fun time for sure so i'm very happy about that so let's go ahead and move into the drawing area here so we can start doodling some stuff what is this i'm curious what this is about oh i know what this is i know what this is perfect perfect let's see if they let's see if they work right now so let's open up you for a second let's go on that go boom Aha, there you are. Let's make you a bit bigger, shall we? Because that's what we really want here is to show the glam and the glitz of doodling. That's right. People love seeing that shit all the time. So, yeah. So, anyways, over at Golden State Furcon, we hosted a, Kai and I hosted a comic jam over there that was from 9.30 to 11.30, which was really good it went by really fast actually uh golden St uh the comic jam was really fun and if anyone is watching and stuff like that uh we will be posting the comics here soon i hope so as long as it doesn't you know intervene with our busyness schedule and at the same time we also hosted a uh vtuber or a twitch vtuber meetup is the case so that happened around 12 and i was only there for like an hour but that was an incredible turnout. About 40 people showed up, which I was super, super happy about. Like, what a good turnout. It lasted till 2. I guess a lot of people stayed 
stayed a little after too. <laughs> it was, oh man, it was wild. It was fun, let me tell you that. It was very fun for that one. So I'm definitely super stoked about that. So let's go ahead and start working on some stuff here. Because that's what we're going to do today is the uh, is the case. Oh. <laughs> it was uh, the mic was picking up also the sounds and making me talk. Did you know I also make sounds? Wild. continue working that but yeah if anyone met us over at uh at golden state fur comp don't be hesitant to, uh to mention that and stuff like that i definitely love to talk about it but yeah i was super stoked meeting uh another youtube uh streamer that does walkthroughs named kite and uh he was really nice and a, and a fun individual to talk to he let me hold his camera too <laughs> it was heavy it was definitely a heavy piece is the uh is the case on that one so i'm like oh wow wild wild i will suggest it was wild and crazy kids I'm also excited to be going to Denver too, so fun times. What's going on here? I want to see if the, any of the items work. Ow! Alright, well that works. And... Does this one work? Yep. <laughs> hey, look, it's Shade Wolf 9 How you doing? Shade Wolf, what's going on with you? We just got back from a Golden State Furcon. Did you go to Golden State Furcon, Shade Wolf? What's going on with you today? Bird up. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Thank you for the subscription, Shade Wolf. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad the subscribe works now. Fuck. Fuck yeah, finally. Thank you. So you know what that means, Shade Wolf, right? That means that you can have a poster on the poster wall. If you're in the, um... So you know the rules, I think I probably explained before, but if you have not... Uh, you can give me a poster, nothing cringy or racist, but you can promote whatever it is that you like on your poster for the, for the poster check, uh, bit. Every time people redeem the poster check. I'll show you an example in the poster check room, by the way. And so the whole bit here is that, that every time someone check, redeems their poster check, they get their poster above on this wall here for the whole entire, uh, rendition of their subscription. So that's what's going on here. And so every time I'll go in, I'll go in and I'll go and I'll check out my posters and stuff like that. And your poster will be right up here is the case. So that is what's up. Thank you for the subscribe, Shade Wolf. I much appreciate it. But yeah, that's how that is over uh, over there. <laughs> I walked backwards this time. 
is the case, so. No, but I saw the solar eclipse today. You saw the... So tell me. When you saw the solar eclipse, did you wear special sunglasses? Or did you look at the sun directly like a real man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I hope your eyeballs didn't burn out then. Oh my god. <laughs> I did see a video of the eclipse and it looks amazing. I wore special glasses by Brother Game. Oh wow. I remember the last time I saw the eclipse, I wore uh those uh masks that um that people use when they're welding. A welder's mask. I was wearing a special a welder's mask to see the eclipse, which is great. Another fun way to look at the eclipse is what you do is you build a shoebox, right? You have a shoebox and you have a piece of paper uh, underneath it and you make a hole and the sun goes into the hole and you can see the eclipse that way too by looking into the shoebox and you see the shadow of the eclipse which is really uh, a, a fun scientific way to do it. It's safe, it's fun for the family, it's great. And it's, you know, it's, it's just it's just amazing to do that. But wearing glasses is fun too. Redeem snackies. Okay, I'll eat some snacks. So I need something? Huh? Do you need a snack? Yeah, I need snackies. Uh... But yeah, tell me, tell me all about your experience of the, cli of the eclipse. Uh, Shade Wolf. Oh, uh, I guess so. You know, well, well, I know there's more snackies. I know those exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I ate all the chips. You need to put your standard good chips in like a large amount of good chips. No, I know I purchased uh, other pair of chips too at Trader. Here you go. Have this. What is this? Dried scallop. Ew, no. You don't want to eat it? No. It's dried scallop. It, I guess. And that's not really that great of a snacky. <laughs> that's not a snack. You don't like seafood? No, I, 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 like, I like seafood, but I wasn't expecting you to give me a dried scallop. <laughs> Ew. How rude. It looks like a booger. How rude. Yeah. How rude. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, so tell me, Shade Wolf, tell me all about your experience with the eclipse. Was it a total eclipse of the heart, Shade Wolf? Did you, once upon a time, you started to fall in love, but now you just started to fall apart? Nothing you can say? A total eclipse to the heart? <laughs> I really would like to know your experience meeting a solar eclipse. Did he take you out the Chuck E. Cheese's? I would definitely like to know. Let me come out and say, Hey there, Shade Wolf, it's me. Here you go, have some veggie straws. Okay, well, that works. Veggie straws it is. That's for sure. Veggie straws, it is. 100%. Wait, what's going on here? They never notice. There we go. We got it. Are you still wearing the special glasses today? Shade Wolf? I wonder. I wonder if Shade Wolf just wears the special glasses. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. But yeah, like I said, if you're in the, uh... Laos. <laughs>
Yeah, it seemed like we get some more people coming into the uh, Discord, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a certified hash brown moment. <laughs> Yeah, Shavel. So if you have a poster that you want me to run the hat, please send that to me as soon as possible. If you have an image or maybe a meme and you want to put in the poster check, we'll make it work. That's for sure. We'll make it work there, cowboy. Let's see. All right. One of coins work. Hide coin. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> coins do work. Coins do work. Okay, good. We found out that coins work now. <laughs> This work. We're gonna make this work. All right, dope. All right, let's turn that really cool. Let's go over here, shall we? Boom. Oh, need some more snackies. There we go. We're getting it right. What do you think of this uh, on Karibo I'm working on there, Shade Wolf?
someone come in. I, yep, special glasses for Shade Wolf. But yeah, Shade Wolf, so if you happen to have an image, and if you're in the uh, uh, Discord, just uh, uh, DM me at the image, and I'll be able to make that work out for you. ASAP. So if you got that, I'll do it. I'll do right away there, partner. I'm back. Had to reset my phone because the type board would not pop up. Oh, no. Oh, no. No wonder. That makes sense. That makes sense. You weren't responding. All right. So, yeah. So, hey, since you um, uh, subscribe to me and stuff like that, uh, you get to make your own poster for the check your poster bit. So, if you're in the Discord, um, just give me an image you want to promote than anything else and for the whole duration of your uh, subscription. Yeah, thank you for showing your support. Cause I'm glad I'm glad you like the like our streams here at High Term Studio. Sure thing tomorrow, though, unless you're not streaming. I am streaming tomorrow. I'm doing a double stream. So tomorrow, Tuesdays are usually double stream. So I'll stream around from 11 to 12.30 over on the Indie Comics Network and stuff like that. And then we'll be back on to our regular schedule from 7 to 10. But yeah, you can take your time on the image and everything else. So if you want something to be meaningful or maybe you want to promote a thing on the check your poster on the poster check bit, then yeah, it would definitely happen. hundred percent. But yeah, so what was it like? I have a job interview tomorrow at 9 a.m. Ooh, what kind of job? Exactly. For what type of position? Mm. Customer service interview. So when you say customer service, are you doing it? Is it remote? Like um, phone? Like telemarketing? Or is it physical retail space? A dealership. This is out of car. Car automobiles, right? When I think dealership, I automatically think automobile. Is that true? Yes. So I was right. I was right. So that must be interesting, Zen. So so you would have to practice your pitching skills. Are you are you good with talking with people, Shade Wolf? Like what's your opinion about socializing? With people and convincing them to purchase a car or to purchase an automobile. What's that like? 
Oh, so you do have so you do have skills in talking to people before. Like you're not shy about it or anything. Do you think do you think you can uh, have the ability to convince people to purchase a car for those who are looking for a car? Well, first time for anyways due to my ADHD disability. Oh no. Well, I think you know what I think. There's people with ADHD who are definitely good salesmen. I, d I definitely think so. I definitely think so. Well, here let's let's test this out. Let's test this out. Let's test this out. Here, give me a sec. What's going on? Well, I'm going to. Well, I'm doing this. Oh, a second interview? I never done it, so first time for everything. Well, I'm doing a second interview. So first one uh, was just meeting the manager. Second one is a personal interview. Let them get to know it. Oh wow! You know what I mean, right? Like the Zoom. Oh, is it, it's going to be on the Zoom app? <laughs> Well, if that's the case, here. Pretend, since since you're gonna be at a dealership, since you're gonna be at a dealership there. Sell me, <laughs> what's going on here? Oh yeah. So sell me sell me this pen. Sell me sell me this pen, Shade Wolf. Tell me why I should buy this pen. Sell me it. So I can purchase so I can purchase these pens. I am a client and you're the customer service individual. Sell me sell me this pen here. I wanna know why what makes this pen amazing. Sell me sell me this pen. <laughs> <laughs> this dancing pen that won't stop dancing <laughs> sell me this pen shade wolf i need to know your skills as a customer service representative if you can sell a pen you can sell a car Tell me why I should buy this pen. <laughs> this pen won't go away until you sell it to me. <laughs> Selling a pen would be easier if it is the Frictions Erasers pen. <laughs> You're right, right. That's true, that's true. <laughs> well, I'm already sold. <laughs> I'm already sold. There you go, see? You did it. You sold me a pen. I'll, I'll buy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he already dances too, so got that going on here. But that's cool. Congratulations on getting the second interview and stuff. Congrats. I hope you definitely get the job for a car dealership.
Yeah, I definitely hope you get the get the job 100% there. Every time I watch that commercial, a kid for Stop Bullying from Cartoon Network earning $45,000, it really... I remember seeing those commercials, that cartoon, like, no bullying, stuff like that. They're, like, on this, like, anti-bullying campaign. But ironically enough, they do that a lot at Cartoon Network in the offices and stuff like that. Which is kind of funny, because they're like, no bullying, unless it's like corporate bullying, then um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay if it's corporate bullying. But the kid from the bullying campaign is earning 45k a year, damn. That's on minimum wage. That's minimum wage, wow. I guess he gets royal. How did you know? How do you know the kid? No, that's how much I'll be making if I get a job. Oh, I have forty-five thousand dollars here. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I see, I see. So you'll be starting at minimum wage then. I know that at car dealerships they do pay more if you're like a really good. Is it minimum wage plus um, if you sell a car? Is the case like a percentage of whatever you sell the car for? Eighteen dollar reduce. Eighteen dollar reduce is not bad. Are you a Californian shade wolf? Cause I know the minimum wage in California is like fifteen. Cause Gavin Newsom said we're gonna up it to twenty. Yeah, eighteen dollars plus uh, the percentage of uh, of the car that you sell. So if you sell a lot of cars, then um, you'll be good. Now let me ask this: Is it new cars or used car dealership? That's what I like to know. I'm I'm trying to figure out what type of car dealership that you're gonna be at. You're gonna be like some like weird uh sleazy car dealership and be like i live in texas where there's no state tax Ooh, no state tax no state tax but there is ta i know there's taxes in um texas because i've done texas com before and i do have a comptroller account to make that work out so i have to give them money every time i make money i know there's a sales tax that's for sure but no state tax more sense but the one thing I would gamble is in a casino unless I try to do Texas lottery once what is you know what is the Texas lottery not like I, I know what a lottery is but like how much is the Texas lottery what's the highest number in a Texas lottery is it in the millions or is it in the billions California always puts it in the billions every time
and nobody hits the Powerball or the Mega Millions when uh, when he goes up, and it's usually go get to a billion. God, what does it remind me of? I forget which state. I think it was Louisiana that had um, a lottery winner, but like um, they're like, oh, you won, but um, we can't give you the money because we don't have it. <laughs> Like, and I was like, well, what the fuck's the point of having a lottery, a state lottery, if <laughs> if you don't pay out? Uh, yeah, that's usually how that is. You actually have to pay one third of the time. Yeah, that's that's how it is in the states too. It's like I think one third of uh, of the percentage of the winning. So if it's like a billion, you know, they'll take out a percentage out of that. You're like, listen, you won, but we're not gonna give you the full amount. Texas gets two thirds. God damn. God damn. Listen, just because you won, uh, we're going to take. But, yeah. I th Actually, you know what? Let's look this up. Let's look this up in the uh, commentary research zone here for a second. Let's look this up. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's go over to Google here. Go to the content research zone. Let's go over here. Boom. All right. Let's see. How much does California take for lottery winning? All right, so California ta uh, California doesn't tax lottery winnings. That's good news if you win the Powerball jackpot, as California Edwin's Castro did with the world record of two point four billion dollar jackpot, and more recently as one point winners of uh, Powerball one point seventy three six billion winners. Interesting, interesting, but I don't think that's true. Considered, okay, lottery winnings are considered taxable income, are subject to both federal and income taxes and revenue services so the federal tax rate is 24 percent california state income tax rate with range range from one percent to 13.3 percent adds an additional layer okay so i don't think kipling's is giving me a check how much it is now in texas all right let's see texas all right how much how much taxes do you pay on lottery winnings? No, no! Listen, Listen to, to the radio driving in your gun. No, god damn you, Stefan! Listen, Listen to the radio driving in your car. Radio gets results. Fuck you. Radio is there no matter where you are. Radio gets results. Bum, bum, bum. No, ah! The, the big stretch. Listen to the radio driving in your car. Radio gets results. No. Radio is there no matter where you are. Radio gets results. Bum, bum, bum. Radio. Ah! Results. Radio gets results. Radio. Ah. Big stretch. Ah. Stream elements. No more, please. <laughs> it's not even stream elements. It's Stefan. How you doing? How you doing, uh, Stefan? What's going on with you? We just got back from uh, Golden State Furcon, so it was really good. How much do you pay taxes in? How much do you pay taxes? Uh, in in Texas, I don't know how much in taxes do you pay in Texas for lottery winnings? Splendid, spend, splendid, splendulous, splendul, splendulous. <laughs> All right, so most prize winners, according to the lottery, Texas, most prize winners pay a fixed federal income tax rate of 24% on their lottery winnings over $5,000. So, uh, 
federal prize withholdings are calculated on the amount of prize winnings. So, um, all right, let's do this. Let's go over here. Let's go to, um, we're going to look at uh, chat GPT for a second. Let's say, uh, if I win, uh, let's say, oh, I don't know, uh, $5 billion and Texas takes 24% of that. How much would I have? Look at the Powerball is cute. All right. So if I, let's say theoretically, if I had $5 billion times 0 0.24, that would be uh, about 1 billion, 200 million, 1.2, 200 million. It's 1 billion, 200 million. But let's see, what is the tax? So, so let's say, let's look at Texas. All right, Texas Powerball. Okay, I'm not looking for the Texas uh, Powerball numbers. I'm looking for how much. So it's 20 million. The jackpot is 20 million over at the Texas Lottery Powerball is the case. So we have 20 million. And so, so let's go over here. Let's do that. So we'll go to uh, 20 million. So let's go to, let's see. 20 million times 0 0.24 so I would have four so if I win 20 million dollars from Texas I would only get about four million eight hundred thousand <laughs> You took a good, you ate a whole portion of my money. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I guess uh, apparently California doesn't have to tax winnings, but I don't think that's true. Right? Because the California, let's go to California and Power Bowl. So California. Powerball. Let's go to California Powerball, right? So, the next big it's it's also twenty million, <laughs> right? So, we we're both the same Texas. We also have it. I remember. I remember it was way bigger for whatever reason. I remember it was way bigger. For the California, so the Powerball for um, California. I like I like how California is like a little bit more, you know, cool because that's an L, <laughs> a big fat L for the lottery, and in Texas it's like, eh, we don't have we don't deal with logos here in Texas. We don't do that here. Some of the jackpot sat. Oh, really? Most California people go on game shows and pay Uncle Sam, Sante, not being rude. You know what? That is true. Um, it's not hard. No, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, like look at that. Look at that. Like look at that. We got a logo and everything's all like super cool here, and in Texas it's like standard colors. Everything's all fucking flat. Whoever the graphic designer is is like, uh because the price is right. So if so I only get so if I win 20 I only get about like 4.8 million dollars out of that wheel of fortune. Anyone can get a wheel of fortune by the way. You just have to be the loudest individual. Cuz what they like on those game shows, mind you, is that they want people to be um, very hyperactive on here. Is the situation on that. I'm trying to figure out um when you win the lottery in California, how much do they take out of your winnings? You don't have to owe, ta owe lottery taxes. You have to win big jab. Oh, the typical lottery taxes. Oh, for oh, so it so it's it's the same. No, that doesn't make any sense. 
you know, someone I want, uh, someone I would uh, to do that, but that's like, I don't know how many people would be on a show on there early and ever get, because I never seen 10 or 20 people that have won $1 million wedge on Wheel of Fortune. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm, God, that's not, that's not, I don't feel that's correct. It's 24% in California. That is incorrect. Let's see, you know, let's ask, uh, you know, let's go and chat GPT for a second. I think maybe we might get, let's see, if I win uh, the lottery in California, Powerball, Powerball, how much does California, California take? How much does California take? Was I, I, I might get a better answer from ChatGPT. Oh, so it is. It is so. It's federally, it's twenty four percent in federal taxes and ten point thirty percent in state taxes from lottery winners of five thousand dollars or more. Okay. So all right. So let's say all right. So we're gonna do here. Right. We're gonna do twenty million point uh, times uh, zero. 0.24 so they take for that right so they take about four million eight hundred thousand right right and so we had that so we do four point eight thousand plus ten point thirty percent times ten point ow plus uh zero point ten point thirty percent or is it ten point ow uh thirty percent <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's not, that's not correct. Oh, we want uh, times 0.10.30%. That's what we want. It's okay. So, all right. Actually, let's do this. So, uh, okay. So, so if, so if I win uh, 4,800,000 and I owe 10 point, 10 point, ow, 30 uh, percent to California state taxes state how much do I have left alright so alright so if I got four million eight hundred thousand and I gave the, uh, the California state taxes zero point hundred three um, it would be uh, about, so I would have, after paying 10.3, you would have 4,300,600 uh, left. Ow. Throw in, give me bonks. Let me find the video and I'll share you uh, on Discord and your GMs. A video for me to react to? But yeah, so that seems to be, so all right, so I would have, tax amount so they'll take about four hundred and ninety four thousand out of that and then i'll still have so gosh california's even much shittier jesus at least at least with texas i'll have to pay the additional state tax is the case wow just wow <laughs> but yeah i'm surprised you didn't go to um golden state fur con stefan what's up with that <laughs> Could have gotten invited to a cool tiki bar. All right, what did, what did you send in my D, DM, Shade, Shade Wolf? Did you send me the image that you want to be on the uh, um, poster? Big John, hello. Are you Big John, <laughs> Shade Wolf? Or did you post it in the, uh, did you post it in the Hoy Reacts video? All right, there you go. 
So yeah, if you have a, a poster, like I said, I'll give you a couple days for you to DM me a poster and I'll post it in the uh, uh, check your posters type ordeal. Oh, so, okay, you did post a video in the Hoy Reacts. Okay, cool. We're going to be doing... There's a lot of videos for me to react to, so we have enough content to do that now. <clears throat> we can do it. But yeah, wow, California not only takes 24% for federal, which I guess that's all, all overboard with states since it's federal. So, and then not only that, California also takes for state... 10.33 or 30 percent than anything else like damn what a fucking upset that is gotta like give them another fucking chunk of money you're like oh my god like that's a lot when you win like 20 million dollars and then you're back down to like below 10 and it's like that's a huge fucking chunk of like winning and you have to like give that up to the federal reserve <laughs> Like, holy shit, holy shit. Like, that's just, that's just wild. That's just wild to me. Like, damn. Yeah, I have a picture, but what poster do you... No, 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 Not what poster do I like. It's you. It's what you like. That's why you're subscribing. You can do any image you like, as long as it's nothing uh, racist. And, yeah, nothing racist and nothing cringy and, and no NSFW stuff. Yeah, unless it's OSHA related. <clears throat> Like, uh, what is your Discord name so I can do? Oh, oh, right, right, right. Um, here, I'll, I'll just hit you up on the uh, on the chat here. Just go, uh, go in the chat and then DM me. I just uh, reply to you, and you can just DM me there. <laughs> Also, hey, good news, guys. Good news. So we just recently got our um, new enamel pins came in, which brought back due to uh, popular demand. But we have a Jason Kirby enamel pin going on here, is the case. That's right. Yeah, we're not going to be dropping a new Jason Kirby enamel pins around May. So we're going to be... Yeah, we gotta take photos and everything and be able to do the drop and hype it up and all that wacky jazz. But yeah, you can DM me. Uh, can I just uh, uh, reply to you? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Let's save you for a second. The wolf from, uh, uh, from Hell of a Boss. That Luna's all, like, into, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and make that into a poster, shall we? We can do it. We can make it into a poster. Hey! Yeah, Stefan's still here. Does Kai have a question for Stefan? Huh? Oh. All right, there's the there's the poster check. Kai's in the office with me right now. 
That's where Kai is at. Kai would have been on their office computer, but I, we had a meet, we had a few meetings today. So. Yeah, we had we had some meetings going on. So. Yeah, so I had to be at the office today. Hey, Jake. Yep. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make this smaller. All right, we just got we got a lot of lot of posters here. Then we got you. We also have Stefan's flag here. Gonna make you. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We'll keep the posters the same. I'm not going to spoil the boss, but would you play the Paper Mario TTYD remake when it comes out next month? Oh, I didn't know that, no, that was coming out. Um, we've been busy. <laughs> yeah, we've been busy. I think that is a possibility. I think we will play the game. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. Before, it's, just, it's just that um, I'm looking at our schedule. And, like, May is our local free time we have. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got to finish the first Paper Mario. Alright, uh, the second game, I'll, we'll have to wait until probably like maybe around summer or fall. Mmm. Like, like, I'm looking at our like our time schedule. We're like, yeah, really busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's move you. Let's bring uh, Nate's poster over here. Put it on your fear, and then we'll. Where is? Aha, there it is, there it is, there's. And actually we can, oh. We'll put Stefan's flag up here. Short for thousand year door. Ooh. All right, now let's bring in, um, we'll copy you. Oops. It's not what I wanted. All right, we're gonna add the poster texture to them, um, so that way it looks that way it looks really cool. All right, there we go. All right, so now we got got Sh Shade of Wolves. Kai, you fight Peach. <laughs> I kind of know the sword. I kind of know the sword because I did play the Game Genie era. Yeah. But I kind of know the plot of it. Or does it? <laughs> yeah. Or does it know any real Paper Mario? I don't know any Paper Mario. Let's see if I can try to... We'll do this. We'll make you a little bit smaller. There we go. Move a poster. And it'll make Nate's. Poster a little bit bigger. And it will make your poster a little bit bigger too while we're at it. And it will bring Stefan's flag down. Yeah. Right here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We go. All right. Now we got the posters here. Now I'm going to go hit save. Maybe we go and save it as a Japog. 
Yes. And this should auto auto check. Let's go. Let's let's auto check on our posters here. Yep, it's all here. Yay! We have it now. We have our posters, which is uh, which is great. So perfect, perfect. All right, dope. Let's get out of here for a second, and then open you back up again. But yeah, all right, yeah. Once again, thank you for the uh, thank you for the uh, subscribe, Shade Wolf. Oh, oh no, my character. It has froze up in the weirdest time possible. <laughs> Perfect. Great timing. Great timing for this. Let's see, close window. Yeah, close program. Close the program, damn you. There we go. Alright, but now I think I'm probably small now. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. We have it. But yeah, Kai, Kai, Kai would fight Peach. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. We also got Goobs Goobs Goober here. A lot of a lot of bots. And Stefan is still here too, which is great. seems kind of like weird to like smack it like that so we're gonna probably go ahead and do Deserves, you know. <clears throat> oh, we go. Dope, dope, but yeah. How come you didn't go to a Gold State Fur Con, Stefan? I'm curious. Assumed followed me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Assumed.
Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. <clears throat> but yeah, so so then Shade Wolf. So that means that you must be like pretty um how should I put it? Are you excited to go to this interview tomorrow or are you a bit intimidated? Like is it, do you have like anxiety when it comes to like interviews like that? When they start asking you like weird questions. <laughs> Is your anxiety off the roof after this uh, interview? I, like I said, I hope you definitely get the job. I'm pretty sure you will. At a car dealership with customer service. That's how we're gonna roll. What do you think of this Yu-Gi-Oh! on Karibo I'm working on? So that section is pretty good. Maybe I wanna, I wanna add a little bit more brightness to this. Blend it in, then just add on to that the effect, the effect that we want.
Let's see what else we got smacking to. All right, go. There we go. Boom. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, reacting to some videos at this time. So it's gonna be uh, gonna be fun. have Kai illustrate something, but I don't know if Kai would be interested. Charlie's a good boy. Golden State, you followed me? Oh, thank you. I think I met this guy. Thank you, Charlie. It's a good boy for following us. Charlie is this boy? Yeah, yeah I, uh, this is this is the person we met over at um, Golden at Golden State Furcon at the Twitch meetup or yeah, Twitch no. VTuber meetup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I recognized the the pattern and stuff like that, and so he's. No, Charlie's a delivery boy too. Oh yeah, he is. What they are? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Is Hyde? Who said that? No, I just thought it was a question about Hyde. Who who asked Tiki events? Who who asked that question? That was just me asking. Oh, oh. That's <laughs> just me asking. Oh, okay. I see. I see how that rolls. BRB for a second, because I'm going to go to the restroom. Where's my BRB? Oh, there you are. Perfect.
we're back. We are finally back. Boom. How's chat doing today? Is chat alive? Dead? Dead or alive? Beach volleyball? Has anyone ever played that game? Dead or alive? Beach volleyball? And be like, I'm going to play it because there's bikinis and titties. I think that's what a lot of people played it before. Oh no. Hey Tarsal, how you doing? What's going on with Tarsal coming from all the way from YouTube land? What's going on with Tarsal? Think I can't see you from over there. <laughs> also Tarsal. Or from Twitch. Tarsal even exist. Twitch, YouTube, make up your mind. Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, YouTube. God damn. God damn, Tarzel. Ooh, this 
turned out really nice. Just uh, but yeah, saying in Florida that kind of had a fun time at Golden State FurCon, especially over at the League of Extraordinary Furries hosting that uh, hidden tiki bar and stuff like that. It was amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks dope. There we go, perfect. It is exactly what I wanted. Perfect, perfect. Anyways, hello chat, especially those who are lurking. How's everyone doing today? We know that could be lurking. Turned out really dope. All right, now we move over to here. And what we want is this.
more gold. I'm looking forward to uh, start doing some uh, commentary zone stuff. That's what I'm excited about. Huh? Oh no. Do you want to illustrate some stuff? Oh, okay. Are you sure? I have many things to line up, but I have to talk to Pat about it. Oh, for the, for the lineup here? Oh no. Just a bunch of stuff, but I have to make dinner anyways. Oh, okay. Because I know you want to do the commentary zone the last half hour so you get to eat what we want, so. Yep. This turn out really nice. I do like doing this uh, gold effect here is what we're uh, putting together to achieve. This is also going to be another exclusive card. on whether or just blended. I think it'll make sense if it's blended, yeah. Ow. Bonked my hand for a bit. <laughs>
we go. That looks really cool. I do like this effect that it's uh, uh, given. If anything else, maybe we'll do this and then ramp it up like this. Go pop, 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 like that. That way, that looks uh, far superior. Oh no, who's throwing coins there? Takobi! No, god damn it! Listen to the radio driving in your car. Radio gets you No! God, no! Video is there no matter where you are. Radio gets results. Bum, bum, bum. Radio gets results. Radio gets results. That's radio. Look, we got Takobi Hatter. We got or Takobi Rabbit and Lizzie Hatter. We have some people here. Absolutely. How you doing, Takobi? What's going on with you? We just got back from uh, uh, Golden State FurCon, and so our next convention lineup is going to be Level Up Expo, located over in Las Vegas. So definitely very, uh, very uh, happy about that one. How'd that go? It went really well. It went super well. It was a, it was a really good show. Not only that, um, the League of Extraordinary Furries were there, and they held a uh, a secret tiki party event that definitely got a lot of people packed because they picked a really tiny room. <laughs> So good, so good. It was really fun, that's for sure. How's your day? How's your day, Tech Kobe? Mm. <laughs> it's Tech Kobe time. Go ahead and save you. Just in case shit hits the fan. It's so so been better. What do you mean so so? So so equals eh. So what made your day so eh about throwing things at me? Rude. <laughs> Didn't know Takobi Rabbit was a rude dude with an attitude. <laughs> But my Aunt Karibos turn out pretty dope, though. Turn out super nice. It's just one of those days! <laughs> the eclipse was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Did you once upon a time, you started falling in love? And now you're just falling apart? Nothing you can say? Total eclipse of the heart? <laughs> Did you wear, did you, so let me ask you this. When you saw the eclipse, did you see it in person? With an eclipse, now they're gone. <laughs> did you wear special glasses or did you look at the, look at the eclipse like a real man with no special eyeballs? <laughs> with your eyeballs burnt out, I mean. <laughs>
I just looked outside from the couch. Oh, yeah? You're like, I don't need no damn glasses to look at the eclipse. I can just sit here and live and, you know, just sit in this couch and look at the eclipse through my curtains. It's the only worthwhile I can see the ring. <laughs> Gosh darn, a cliff's not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> Come here, Cliffs. Come to my house and let me give you a smooch. <laughs> let me look at you. Damn, you're too bright. <laughs> sure got them pretty sunspots there. <laughs> Would you ever go out with an eclipse? You're such a dork. <laughs> oh, Dana Celestial body. Come in here and let me check out your celestial body. You got a lot of stars hanging on there. That's too many kids and too many mouths to feed. Well, time to go on welfare. <laughs> Hello? Welfare? I have about one point infinite amounts of uh, children that I have. <laughs> I need a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing videos uh, being posted of the uh, eclipse lately. It looks really cool. And uh, I guess there was one video that someone posted where... Um, you can see the rays of sun from shadows, and it was making this really cool ring effect uh, from the trees and stuff like that. Which looks super fascinating. But that's fucking dope. But yeah, right now... But yeah, so we had... I never seen the blue ring around the eclipse before. <laughs> never seen the blue ring around the eclipse before today. That sexy blue ring is what really got me. Quite the personality this eclipse has. pushing it. I was eclipsed by the sun's beauty. You can tell because my eyeballs are burnt out. You could say that I was blinded by the light. I revved up like a deuce in the middle of the night. Rev up like a deuce in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and now Tacoby Rabbit wears his sunglasses at night <laughs> because his eyeballs are burnt. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, God, let me. I want to show this here quickly because uh, someone was posting videos of the uh, uh, the eclipse here. I believe I remember seeing videos on on here. You know what? Or maybe I lost it. 
lost it because people were just posting too many eclipse videos. Oh wait, no, I think I think I may be able to be able to get it. It was like a really cool. Come on, show me the seventy posts, Twitter. Oh yeah, so check this out. Check this out. So um, so at Golden State Fur Con, um, Lemon Brat was there. Lemon Brat. I don't know if anyone recognized that brand, Lemon Brat, but they're pretty popular and they usually vent at big furry conventions. But I was surprised to see them vending at small furry conventions. So, anyways, Golden State Fur Con was hosting a fur suit contest, right? And so they made an announcement. And the guy was like, we're going to make an announcement for the winner of the first suit contest of 2023. And I was like, what? This could be a mistake. Don't they mean 2024? 2023 was last year. And so they finally made the announcement and they said, all right, the winner for the, the, uh, for the first suit contest is Lemon Brat for the year 2023. Congratulations. And I'm like, no one did not even correct this individual whatsoever and I was like Golden State Furcon you're behind the times it's the year 2024 how could this be like no one like no one corrected him like I guess he's I guess he's stuck in the year 2023 somehow. So it's like okay. Cool. I guess you're stuck in the year 2023, son. Sorry. Cannot progress any more years. Imagine being like stuck in a in a particular year forever. He did it. <laughs> Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> he did. He did do the time warp again. Everyone's doing the time warp. It's wild. Yeah, why is it so warm in here? I'm curious. All right. We can turn on the fan. Yeah, there was like this really cool video that I saw. People showed the solar eclipse. Finally. Where, where the hell is this video? I just saw it too. And it looked really cool. It was a super cool video. And looked dope and it made like this really dope like sun effect. It was super cool. Oh well. Bik <laughs> Bikini solar eclipse glasses. <laughs> As, did you wear any bikini solar eclipse glasses, people? I wonder. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found the video. All right. So check this out. All right. We'll go to the commentary research zone right now. So check this out. So this video right here, um, the solar eclipse was making this effect, which I've never seen before. And I think that's really phenomenal. Like these like really cool curly Q ring effects all over and it's like damn that is so fucking dope like look at that curly cues all over the place they like little onion rings for me to like pick up and eat um, um, um.
but really dope. Really dope. That's for sure. Alright, so I think... So yeah, what, is, what does chat think of this on Karibo I'm working on? Looks pretty fucking dope, right? Would you would you eat this? <laughs> would, would this be something that chat would eat? I need to know. There we go. And cool. We got the fan turned on. Or at least the uh ceiling fan is what I'm talking about. We got it on. We have it on, chat. The ceiling fan is turned on. Now I don't have to worry about uh, sweating. Which is gross. Poster check by Takobi Rabbit. All right, we're going to be checking our posters this time. We're definitely going to be checking our posters this time. And I mean, big time. Time to check out our posters. Here we are. Going to be checking our posters here. All right, so it looks like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? We got some new posters here. Holy shit. So we got uh, Marvel's in for Quest for Mean. Nathan's poster is looking pretty good. And we also have that uh, that wolf from uh, Hell of a Boss that Luna's like simping for. And then we have uh, uh, that flag that Stefan always likes to rep all the time. I think no rips and tears here. So I think this is looking looking pretty good in my opinion. What, is, what do you guys think? I'll tell you after you check your posters. <laughs> What, what does chat think? What, do you, what does chat think about these posters here? I'm curious. Poster check. Yep, so we got a successful poster check. So we definitely got that. And by the way, if you subscribe to me, you can also have your very own poster in the poster check uh, bits as well. You can promote whatever you like. That's how it is in the poster check here. So there's benefits here, uh, here at Hyde Herman Studio. All right, let's go back. Dope. And I am here. Great. Perfect. We're here. We did it. We did it, guys. We're finally back from poster checking. At least it's nothing weird like last time where Takobi figured out how to uh, warp reality. <laughs> Oops. Your little boy is looking great. What do you mean my little boy is looking great? What are you implying? My, my little boy. Yeah, that was pretty trippy. What, but what do you mean by your little boy? What, do, what are you implying? The thing you're drawing. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, the uh, on Karibo. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, little boy, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's Takobi talking about? <laughs> By the way, Aunt Karibo's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little boy. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. This is turn out. This is turn out really nice, actually. He topped the big kids menu. <laughs> That's right. Definitely at the big kids menu, especially the Burger King Big Kids Club. 
Absolutely. Speaking of Burger King's Big Kids Club, who was your favorite character from the Big Kids Club? From the BK Big Kids Club. Who's your favorite character? If you have no clue what I'm talking about. Hmm. Wheelchair kid. <laughs> Wheelchair kid was your favorite. Don't you mean wheels? <laughs> he wasn't just wheelchair kid. His name was wheels. <laughs> Absolutely. kids there's a reason why it was named wheels <laughs> Here, we'll show you. We'll show you. Let's go to the research zone here quickly. So, yeah, we got Jaws and Lingo because he's Spanish. And then we have blonde American girl named with a camera. Her name Snaps because that's that's her personality. She takes pictures. You know what this kind of reminds me of? What? Magic school bus kids. Magic school bus kid? Yeah. You know what? In a way, it kind of does. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, who's Magic school bus here? Is that your big ass? Yeah, they had names. How could you forget? They all had names. Yeah, we had Snaps. And then we had Kid Vid, who's like pre-VTuber. Because he's all about fucking technology and video games. But he likes watching videos, I guess. Then we have Boomer. Yeah, okay, Boomer. You know what's funny? that Because she's all about sports. She's, she's definitely all about sports whatsoever. And seven is her lucky number, it seems to be the uh, uh, case. And then we had Wheels right here. Which she's like the Professor Xavier. Of the Burger King Kids Club. <laughs> Replace the new X-Men 97 with the BK Kids. And, uh, and then we got the we got the real X-Men right here, guys. Then we also have IQ. Because, you know, to me... Hello, my BK Kids. <laughs> you know, I find it weird that Magneto, like, in the new 97, he's like... Hello, my X-Men. Like, in the most creepiest way, my X-Men. Like, he fucking owns them somehow. <laughs> They're his X-Men. They're not, uh... <laughs> they, got, they got ownership. So, yeah, we have IQ, because apparently, if you dress like a nerd, you know a lot of, like, information, your name's IQ. Which, you know, it's funny, because he has a slash. So, it's I dot slash... Q, which that kind of comes off really weird. And then we have um, a dog named JD here. So we have a dog named JD, which I don't know. He wears, um, he wears like a helmet, some dog, weird dog helmet with goggles, I guess. So I'm assuming this dog's like super, super special or whatever. His name's JD. Actually, you know what? I would consider JD... To be a furry and his persona is to be a dog that wears uh, a special bicycle helmet with, with a pair of goggles. <laughs> I think he's part of the pool pool theme with JD here. But yeah, no, everyone seems to be here. Like Jaws is, you know what's funny? That Jaws is like all about the earth apparently. So he's, like, very, like, conscious about, like, everything. And then you have Boomer, because it's kind of funny how, like, it's, like, yeah, okay, Boomer. But, like, it's funny that that it's all connected to sports and everything else. And so Boomers love sports, like football and 
baseball, hockey, and they're all fucking old boomers. There's there's no generation that loves sports anymore. You could prove me wrong, chat. You can prove me wrong that there's a new generation. Which sports does Alpha uh, <laughs> Generation Alpha like? Or Gen Gen X maybe? No, that's Gen that's before, right? So we got X Millennial and Alpha, right? Or what? No, X Millennial Y and Alpha. Have you seen some of the feral furry suits these days? The ones that they experience being a real dog on all fours? Um, I haven't seen any feral furries at Golden State FurCon. I have seen pictures of feral furries before, but uh, uh, they always look very cringe because like people are on their all fours and the legs are like extended all weird <laughs> than anything else. So it comes off as like, really odd to me actually since we're already in the research commentary zone let's type in feral furry i mean it must be really expensive furry suits okay here we are here we are at a feral fur this person who's walking god damn let me be a real dog so we got we got this one it must be really weird to, like, walk on all fours. Oh, wait, no, this is... Wait, is this real? No! This is AI generated. This has to be. There's no way this could be AI gen. This feels very AI because the fur comes off all weird. So this is AI generated. Yeah, picks AI. God damn, I got tricked. So hold on, where's the real... All right, here's the... Is this the real one? No. Are we getting duped by AI generation... Generated feral furries? Where? Okay, wait, here it is. Here's here's a proper form. There we go. Oh, but it's too far away. Fuck. Uh, no, we got a standard furry here. We also have a... What the hell is going on here? I'm looking for feral furries, not... Where where is this? I thought I was gonna get some cringe shit here, but um God I hope I hope nothing weird pops up. <laughs> I get pretty scared chat. I'm looking for the ones that walk on all fours. This one's all flatted out, like in that film uh um God, what was that film that, uh, that Steven Spielberg made and he wanted his name off of? Lawnmower Man. This guy looks like from fucking uh, uh, Lawnmower Man over here. Look, look at that. We got a Lawnmower Man and he's got a pumpkin. And remember, remember that scene in the Lawnmower Man where that guy like fucking was so smart he sucked himself in the internet and uh, and then there's that scene where all his body like gets like thinned out and it goes <laughs> like that. Goes exactly, but this is the suit from uh, where the wild things are. But where, where, where feral furry suits? Because I got duped by AI. There's two AI here. Oh wait, no, here we are. We got a wiki fur article here. So I think we're just close. So here's this is a feral furry. I think we'll be able to look at that. So, all right, so here's a there is a one right here. Apparently it's non-anthro for feral furries, which I rarely see. It must be difficult to, like, walk on... Yeah, very cringe. <laughs> very cringe, absolutely. <laughs> it's it's super, it's super cringe, chat. 100%. But, yeah, we have, we have this one here. So, yeah, we have this Feral Furry. It must be really weird to walk on all fours, like, all the time. Than anything so because it's like your hands you're like literally you're a monkey we're all monkeys and you want to walk on all fours like if you have like the bone structure of a fucking monkey you can do it because monkeys are like fucking tough as fuck they like uh, they get auto fucking muscles and everything and whatnot and i'm jelly i'm jelly they get like six pack abs and fucking like chest yeah return to monkey 100 we gotta return to monkey so we can become Muscular 
fit monkey people. <laughs> Actually, baboons, baboons are like pretty chad like to be honest. The, the those monkeys and baboons can fuck you up. One hundred percent. You can get fucked up by monkeys. Absolutely. But yeah, so what other feral images? Can we find some other feral images? Let's see. Of people not that much. Google's not get you know, if I if I turned on the NSFW section of Google, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some super cringe shit. So I'm not gonna turn that on because we're gonna get some very win uh very super cringe weird god we got more ai shit this is really upsetting because i got duped by that one and i was like oh someone's like dressed up as a feral furry did anything else what is what is uh meme with skull fat saw dude hey welcome to the hide her studio arch i'm your host hoy we're doing some commentary stuff right now and so we're looking at feral furries because we just come back from golden state fur con which we're inventing at Although, to be fair, according to Fur Wiki, it's this non anthro. I hate AIR. All my homies hate AIR. <laughs> yeah, AIR, it's like, you know, ridiculous. I, like I said, I got duped by uh, an AI uh, picture, so. But the other one wasn't AI. That was a real one. The, the one that was cringe, it was uh, not that. But yeah, hello, I'm Hoy, illustrator, animator, graphic designer, and voice actor. And right now, we're just working on some artwork as per usual. Originally, we were looking at over the Burger King Big Kids meal and asking chat, who is your favorite BK Kids uh, character? Here is the kid situation. According to uh, Takobi uh, Rabbit, uh, I guess Wheels is his favorite character because basically he's like the Professor X here. So who, so let me ask you this, um, Momo uh, with Skull Facts. Uh, who is your favorite Burger King kids? It's not Momo, it's M Macaw. Oh, with it's... With a skull fan. Oh, Macaw? Yeah. So oh. MC. Oh, Mac MC. McMack. Oh, Mac oh, oh, McMack with, uh, with Skull Facts. Sorry. It's McMac. Oh, I apologize, McMac. Sorry, it's just that the screen made it, the, the Mick made it seem like it was like an O to me. And I was, and an A looked like an O to me, so I apologized. But yeah, so Mick Mac, so not to get all too serious, but Tech Bros should be set on fire in Minecraft, <laughs> in Minecraft for destroying art. Um, I don't think art is destroyed, in my opinion. Let me tell you something, because art was already destroyed ever since the history of art. <laughs> uh, is the case. I don't think AI, like, all right, so I don't fall into the fear based of um, AI art. I'd say KidVid. It's stupidly 90s. I, you, know, I, you know what? I'm there with you on KidVid 100%. I like KidVid. KidVid's all about fucking technology. What do you think KidVid would be a tech bro? Do you think KidVid would be like a tech bro that's shilling out fucking NFTs and uh, adoptables? I wonder. <laughs> but yeah no we were um so we we're illustrating some stuff today and so right now i'm working on some uh Yu-Gi-Oh card base stuff is the case and so i'm doing an on karibo but yeah so my so um so here's uh my my opinion on uh on technology today so i i don't fall into the uh fear base of air losing jobs and stuff like that i don't fall into that fear base there's a reason why, because AI is not going to stop me from making art. If anything, I'll argue this. So let me let me argue this, Big Mac. Um, would you prefer, like, let's say let's say you're an art collector, you have like billions of dollars, right? Would you prefer the actual Mona Lisa that holds value, or would you prefer the fake? Mona Lisa. The the AI generated Mona Lisa. Probably, I mean, who probably, I mean, he'd be in his 30s, 40s today, so he'd probably be some Silicon Valley middle manager douchebag wears overpriced vest. <laughs> I could see that. I could absolutely, I, I, I could absolutely see that for Kid Vid. 100%. I definitely can, McMac. 
McMac with the skull facts. But yeah, would you prefer uh, would you prefer the actual uh, Mona Lisa that holds historical value and actual monetary value, or would you prefer the fake Mona Lisa that has zero value than anything else? Because if if it if it was me in that situation, I'd rather prefer the real Mona Lisa. Is the case. And people who are too lazy, especially, you know, commoners these days, are, are obviously going to pick, like, you know, the lazy part. But if they're, if, but they're not going to make money. So I'd rather prefer the real Mona Lisa that has not only historical value, but also monetary value that holds with the, the actual Mona Lisa is the case. But yeah, right now we're um, illustrating and actually digitally coloring the um, Ankaribo from Yu-Gi-Oh!, I've been making a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards lately, so it's been um, super fun. It's been super fun all the way. But yeah, tell me all about yourself, McMack. What do you do? What does McMack do? Oh, don't get me wrong. Art's always going to be uh, here and here, and art's always going to be around. It's the uh, it's the AI art uh, developers are trying to get artists out of jobs so they can sell sludge. That's uh, that's what's the issue. Well, I would agree with you um, to a point, McMac. And so, when you when when you when you say jobs, what what exactly do you mean? Are we talking about corporate? Because obviously, corporate is going to um, do that. I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to be shocked. That corporate is going to do that whatsoever. However, this doesn't stop the individual from running their own business, is the case. AI, including AI art, is not going to stop them from running their own business. This is also including handmaking merch, like in arts and crafts. AI is not going to go into crafts, never, because there's no way. And it's not going to stop the artists from running their job. If their job is as a streamer, it's not going to come in and stuff like that. I mean, I've seen, like, you know, AI streamers before, but it's like, that can only go so far with that. And there's only one popular AI VTuber that people like, but that's because the developers, like, always, like, constantly fucking updating it. And if you didn't update it, it would be shit. 100%. However, it didn't take away people. It didn't stop people from continuing doing VTuber work and stuff like that. Because people still need a form of entertainment. Hell, I don't think... I think it's it's corporate being lazy. It's the case. And you need to realize that if they be lazy and not have any creatives and rely on the machine as a crutch, they're not going to win. But I don't expect corporate cutting corners. For sure. I, I expect that out of corporate to do that is to cut corners literally all the time. 100%. So there's always going to be different ways in, about it. But I'm not worried about it taking over jobs or anything because the thing is, like, there, there's always going to be jobs regardless of the new thing. It's the case. Always. Always. Because you have to think, think about this. They might not win in the long term, but in the short term, they'll fill their pot. Sure. Corporate's always about been about short term for sure. They've been about that in, in the stock market for, for a while. They always love doing. But for people who are in long term, absolutely. For sure. So the thing here, here's what I argue where AI fails, right? So when it comes to technology, it requires electricity to build that technology is the case, right? So... I argue that planned obsolescence is a huge thing, right? In manufacturing, one hundred percent, especially in tech technology, when corporate uh, when corporate is cutting corners, and we've seen shitty forms of technology before when corporate's always cutting corners all the time. In the case, so AI is going to fail when planned obsolescence is going to win. No doubt about it. <clears throat> no doubt. And not only that, there's also, like, when AI comes in, you still need a developer to come in and update you. 
I mean, AI is kind of a little bit of a misnomer, don't you think? That thinking that it passed like the Turing test or some weird shit. So it's not fully functioning AI. You st it still requires the human being to like input fucking numbers and suggestions to the damn thing. So even when it comes to like, you know, automation where let's say like McDonald's, whatever, but it doesn't affect all the McDonald's, right? So with automation and AI, it only affects a few McDonald's when they, um, when they, uh, let's, cause all, I, I want to point out that all McDonald's don't add here to a lot of things because they're all separately owned because McDonald's is in the real estate business, no longer in the food industry, right? They're in the real estate industry. And each McDonald's is um, solely owned by the people who uh, who run it. In the case, and they pay rent on top of the property that's on. I mean, there's always to be jobs, but the issue is that uh, will the current jobs be good? Not to get too serious, but wages have been stay absolutely staying for decades, and uh, live is being. Uh, lives, you mean. Lives is being unaffordable despite lowering unemployment and raising productivity. You know what? This is true. This is true. I mean, the the, um, the minimum wage has been definitely stagnant. However, um, depending on your state, most states are usually doing the $15 minimum wage. I think California is amping that up to um, 20 But there's a whole, like, economics thing, right? Is the uh, situation on it. And uh, um, every time the minimum wage goes up, the cost of production, I wouldn't say the cost of production, but like, yeah, no, yeah, definitely the cost of production goes up. And so, because you need to, in order to pay your workers that wage, you have to amp up the cost of goods. Oh, by the way, is your avatar a shark polar bear hybrid? No, it's a blue eyes white dragon. The other horn is on the other side, by the way. Uh, I, just, I just want to point. This is done in uh, um, PNG Tuber Plus, but I'll show you here quickly. There is another horn on his arms. I'm a blue eyes white dragon is the case here. Because I know there's a there's another... Um, let's see, where is it? Hair. So there's the hair right here, right? And so... Uh, Yeah, see, there's another there's another horn right here. I, I want to point it, but the uh, the hair is like covering that up. <laughs> the hair is definitely uh, covering up. I surprised your avatar isn't the crab. Well, all right, so the crab uh, represents Hyde Hermit Studio. That's our mascot, Hyde Hermit Crab. And if you didn't notice, we have a plush of the crab too. Seems to be a fan of crustacean. Yes, I do like I do like to see. Seek care. I have three personas, by the way. So I have the blue eyes to I have the blue eyes white dragon. Then I also happen to have the um, the viper fish, and then I happen to have a uh, the viper fish looks like this. Uh, is the case? Let's open it. Up. Let's find uh, viper fish. I'll show you. So let's go to you. It's viper fish hoy. to open you up, right? And so we have the uh, viper fish uh, right here. It's the case. So we have the viper fish hoy right here. And then we have the... Uh, then I happen to have a Venus flytrap with googly eyeballs. But I'm not going to show that one because that one's kind of a little bit janky, which I'm not really a fan of. So I have to go and refix uh, that one as well. I do have it. You know, let's go ahead and show that one just to show how um, janky. Because we got Flytrap Hoy right here. So Flytrap Hoy looks like uh, looks like this than anything else. But Flytrap Hoy is like super janky. So I have to go in and like refix it. I love, yeah, thank you, thank you. We're gonna go back to uh, Dragon Hoy. 
Wait, no, whoops, did we accidentally go to go back to Dragon Hoy, not Fly Trap Hoy. But Fly Trap Hoy is super janky. Is the uh is the situation on that. Yeah, there we go. You seen the uh are you one of those super duper rich works in Silicon Valley furries or starving I'm a starving artist furry. I wish I was a super duper rich works in Silicon Valley furries, but I am not one of those. I grew up um being in the poor and stuff like that. Because to understand what it's like to be poor, you have to live being poor is the case. And you have to work your way up is the situation, which is, you know, sad since we live in a capitalistic society. Um, furries seem to be only rich. Actually, no, there isn't. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. There's only, I think, five factions of furries that are suspiciously rich. There's definitely a middle ground on that as well. I'm glad you like the uh, uh, the the angle uh, the viper fish, uh, hoy for sure. Um, so you have so the rich furries are coming from military, the financial sector, government. Um, then who else? Uh, financial sector, government. Um, then you also happen to have uh, uh, military as well. So you have military furries. Also tech, yes, tech as well. And then, um, so there's six, sorry, so six factions. And then there's people who are uh, mentally disabled or people who are uh, abled uh, section here, which are uh, also uh, government funded. And those are the particular furries, but all the rest are between of middle class and poor class furries, for sure. Because, I mean, if there's a middle class in regular, there's definitely going to be regular middle class furries, 100%. So not all furries are super rich, but there are people who are in that particular section. Are the weird neo-Nazi furries also? I'm not sure. I would like to think they're probably poor, poor class and uh, middle class, because it's no different than, you know, people who are, you know, fascinated with the guns. But I think... There's also people who who were military and maybe shaped their mindset to being neo-Nazis, I guess, is the case. So I, I'm assuming there are, but they're not. But if you're smart about it, you wouldn't say you are. But if you're dumb, you would. <laughs> Absolute. I'm glad you like the viper fish and stuff like that. But it, it all depends. It all depends. I wish they're they are poor because you know Nazis don't deserve any money. You know this is true. I agree with that sentiment. I definitely agree with that sentiment, 100. percent They don't deserve my money. I like viper fish. Viper fish. They're my favorite. Like any. Any um, underwater uh, creatures that are, like, deep... Because we only discovered only about, like, 5 to 8% of the ocean, right? There are so many new creatures in deep sea, or even in the sea in general, that we haven't even discovered yet. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, that we haven't discovered yet. Oh, shit. So, here we are. We're going to do some commentary zone stuff, guys. That's right. We're going to be commentating here. So, let's go back to the research commentary zone. Here's our... Here's the X-Men, by the way. <laughs> we got the X-Men! My X-Men. Guy, I find it really creepy that Magneto says that. My X-Men. I was like, what? they're not your X-Men, dude. You don't fucking own them. <laughs> You're just fucking Magneto. I'm Mag... I'm Magneto. What I love about deep sea fish, especially anglerfish, is that while we may consider them them too ugly to their own species, they are a high beauty. Is what's your persona, uh, McMac? Is your persona an anglerfish? You fellow angler enjoyer. 
All right, let's go over here. Let's go to, we're gonna be reacting to some videos because people posted some videos for us to react to. So we're gonna be going and doing that. So, oh, it's, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kai. I love Kai, Kai is my favorite. Am I your servant? Nope, you're my wife. I love servant. you. No, you're not my servant. Yeah, I serve you. Uh, well, I mean, you didn't make me dinner. You never cooked me anything. Yeah, I cooked you stuff before. Well, no, yeah, I made rice. What are you talking about? Not fully. A freaking meal like this. <laughs> so lazy. Without the rice being made, it wouldn't exist. <laughs> I find your people fascinating. I do not have one. I'm not a furry, but I do like fur. You know what? I think it's okay to have, like, a fursona if you like Micmac and stuff like that. That way you can be like, you know, oh, my persona is this character. And there's people who combine animals into one, so you don't have to stick to like one animal. Like I chose a dragon and it's a fictional character. Dragons are not real, but they're kind of like related to like dinosaurs in a way. So, all right, let's go and uh, commentate on some some videos here. That's what we're gonna be doing. Let's uh, do this. What's this? What am I looking at? Welcome back to Nightmind, friend. Nightmind? Thank you for joining me again in the dark this evening. A naked warrior. Don't forget the ice. The ice? And I'm now making money off the monkey for, bitch. So, <laughs> I'm gonna sell clocks, bitch. Oh, god Mother damn it. Fucking clocks. Look at this ancient ass clock here. This motherfucking clock here is nice. Would you, would we need you a like goddamn this clock? tell the time and everything. God, it's mother got fucking. Oh no! I think we probably did watch this. Let's, I'm gonna move this. Damn. Over here. What happened to my motherfucking clock, bitch? I'm gonna be broke. Oh no! Why? He's broke forever. Hell. I forgot to put the eyeballs on. God, mother fucking damn! All right, here we are. French guy destroys life with Orbeez. This ain't Orbeez. This is a commercial. I've been lied to. Did you know they basically immune? That they're oh um mole rats. Oh no, Orbeez. What are you doing with the Orbeez, guy? Looking pretty sus with the Orbeez. You're putting, you're putting, that's a lot of Orbeez. What are you doing with these Orbeez? All right. Um, how much Orbeez did you purchase? Trois, deux. Oh no! Oh my god. Look at all these Orbeez. Why would you go in your clothes? Oh. Orbeez all over. Would you sit. Would you sit in a butt bathtub full of Orbeez? <laughs> what happened? 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 What Regardez mes toilettes. Pas de monter, j'en peux plus. No! C'est si Marie Joseph. Regardez là aussi. Oh no! Regardez ça, c'est Orbeez. Je fais quoi? They win the train. Regardez ça. Ça monte par 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 les tuyaux. No! Mais ça. Orbeez, what is this train? Je sais quoi? Mais les toilettes. Comment je vais chier, Jésus Marie Joseph? S'il vous plaît, aidez-moi là. What? Mon partie de de mon expérience qui est en train de foirer complètement. Du coup, j'ai This has to be lie. There's no way. En fait, I don't believe. I maison. believe you stuck them there. Du coup, voilà, voilà, euh, vous, vous étiez nombreux à me dire pour les chiottes, en fait. No way, Orbeez came chaise, out of his toilet. Va, du coup, je vais ça. No, he ah! plugged the toilet up with Orbeez. Ah! Wait, he's speaking French and German at the same time? Oh, 
le bain il commence à monter ça veut dire que les billes ils grossissent pour ceux qui oh savent pas ce que c'est en fait les billes de base c'est tout petit comme ça et avec de l'eau en fait en quelques heures ça grossit du coup ça veut dire que c'est en train de grossir dans les tuyaux s'il vous plaît je vous en supplie mais ceci soit aidez moi là je vais faire une partie 3 là j'en peux plus je suis vraiment au bout de ma vie là j'en peux plus là mais ça c'est ça j'ai envie de pleurer mais je fais comment du coup mes saisissons vous êtes nombreux à me dire que faut que j'aspire ah. les billes avec un aspirateur du coup bah, je vais tester ça tout de suite allez go bah si ça marche ah ça marche bien pour une fois <rire> pour une fois que vous m'avez donné une là j'en peux plus hein. gotta vacuum all these orbies up guys <rire> mais c'est quoi ça oula si tu m'as now his vacuum is full of orbies l'aspirateur il est en train de fumer oh non Merde. Oh no! He fucked up his vacuum. Tu dis son gars, il est en train de brûler! Merde, il m'a coûté 300 balles! Putain, j'en peux plus! Moi, je regarde, c'est super bizarre, quoi. Ah ouais? Et toi, t'as rien, t'as regardé un peu? Ah non, moi j'ai, moi j'ai rien du tout là. Parce qu'en plus, c'est. It's filled with Orbeez, sir. Ce genre de truc. You fucked up. You ruined your whole house. Non, j'en ai une tonne. Non, bah j'écoute, c'est rien. Non, ouais, t'inquiète. Vu que la voisine elle est venue, je me suis dit, faut que j'inspecte mon jardin. Et là, je vois quoi dans ma bouche des gouttes de jardin Regardez moi ça. Oh no, outside is filled with orbeez. Y a tout qui est bouché quoi. Fais chier. Petit cas juste pour récapituler la situation. J'ai fermé la vanne. Du coup, les billes dans la baignoire. Euh, il sort plus. Bref, c'est pas du tout ma priorité. Ma priorité pour l'instant, c'est de sortir tous les billes dans les tuyaux. Du coup, euh, arrêtez de me dire, je sais que ça, je, ça, je peux enlever avec des sacs poubelles, ça y a pas de souci. C'est juste les billes dans les tuyaux, comment je fais Nous à nos moutons, mes saucissons. Du coup, euh, vous, êtes, vous êtes nombreux à me dire, il faut mettre du sel dans, dans les canalisations pour que ça rétrécisse les petits billes. Euh, parce qu'en fait, le sel, ça enlève l'eau. Bref, du coup, on va tester ça. Parce que regardez, là, ils sont toujours encore là. Je sais, je sais. Du coup, là, je vais mettre du sel. Et après, on va voir ça. Saucissons, j'ai laissé couler l'eau. Regardez, et ça fait un peu de bruit. Ça fait des bruits bizarres. Écoutez-moi ça, c'est trop bizarre. En tout cas, je suis content, j'ai réussi à tout enlever. Mais. Oula Oh non ah Mais c'est quoi ça Non Oh mon dieu Non It's blood ah, la Your house is full of blood It looks like poop Tu fais quoi là, mes saucissons Mes saucissons, je peux plus Ça remonte partout les Sir, trous de la maison Ça pue house. la chaise partout Naïd, regarde les toilettes Là, ça, ça, ça remonte It really throws me off when he throws in like fucking. Oh no. Je fais la tournée caca avec mon chien Albert. Et là, je vois quoi? Je vois des billes partout. Et regardez là-bas ce qui sort des égouts. Putain de merde, chaud. Oh no. 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 Oh no.
inside there. Like He's got here. to hold the hand. Now, low quality. I'll tell you that the category is around the house. Playing on like around that. what could that be? R S T L N E. Chat, what could it be? Lee. All right. Very quiet, Let. please, in our studio. It's Lee. Oh. Three more consonants and vowels. It's Canada time. C. One. A D. Two. An M. And a vowel. And an A. There has to be an A. A letters. We hope it'll be enough. Audience, again, I ask you not to offer any assistance at all. Shh. No, obviously. Now remember, the category is around the house, okay? We you have 10 seconds. Try to talk it out. She's smiling. That's a good sign. Leaky good luck. Leaky Fawcett. That's it. <laughs> Leaky Fawcett. Oh, yeah. You did it. Okay. Good luck. You better go shopping for that dog. Michelle, it's our biggest payday yet. Million dollars. Whoa. What a rarity. What a rarity. For a wheel of fortune. Crazy. Crazy. What a rarity, folks. For a leaky faucet time. They're going to be fixing a lot of leaky faucets here. No one has ever won a million dollars in Canada's version of... Uh, we will force it. Ever. Right ever. How you doing? How, How you doing, doing kid? You got the real thing. Are you gonna fix a leaky faucet? Look at she's gonna shit her pants. I wonder what the taxes are for, uh, for Canada. By the way, just consider that a little wedding gift from Wheel. You got it. You know what our total is? One million. One million dollars. Oh, and 26. There you go. You did it. You won the money. Remember, you won the thing. The Wheel Watchers Club. Wheel Watchers Club. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but you may be one of our bigger winners. Me? <laughs> oh, man. You know, you got the... You picked... If we have a biggest winner, we also got the biggest loser. All right. Let's go over to uh, here for a second. Let's go to... Uh, huh? Let's look at the viewers. Oh, yeah. Let's look at Kite. Let's go... Uh, let's see. Uh... Kite Furry 360. Let's go. We're going to have really the dudes just yet. Yeah. Kite's visual guide to the, the furry phantom. That's right. He's got a lot of videos going on here. Let's go over to uh, the dealer's den at Golden State Fur Con. Let's go. I think this is going to work. Fuck you, ads. Cooking for one doesn't no, make sense. No, not another ad. This is not what if I you wanted. you want to eat better without wasting hours cleaning and prepping. We're at Golden State for wow, fun. Kite. And we're checking out the Artist Alley. And Spooky. And as is tradition. <laughs> um, Time to go to the Artist Alley. As you might have seen from last year, the Artist Alley and Dealer's Den are in the basement of the hotel. In this yep. little back room. It's always area. been There's in the basement. There's a lot of cool stuff here. So let's take a look around and see what we can find. Oh yeah! Welcome to the artist alley. Here we go. The name, the name works out, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at all these stickers. Would you buy these stickers? So this is Friday. Huh? Very fresh. Drake Magic. We're gonna get the Drake Magic booth here soon. Oh, it's right there. Yes, we found it. Drake Magic booth. Here's a support Drake Magic with Coca Cola. Yeah, look at that. We got some plushy drinkers going on here. We got more stickies. An empty table. Yes. We got, we got charms. We got a lot of things. Yeah, just a little artist alley here. The main event is in the viewer's stand. We're going to be going to the back room. Finally, there's some people here. Was it down this way? You can also go in the gym. So you can work we can out if you truly or want to. Ah, uh, yes, this is the cool mirror. The cool mirror. Well, I got a whole lot of awesome footage. <laughs> you can you Look at this. Look at yourself, Kite. Pointing at Corey. Lots of awesome stuff here. <gasps> Yay. 
All right, here we are. We're entering the yard. Uh, the Main dealer's den. Oh, Sharkaroni! Sharkaroni's here, too. Uh, I can't decide what direction we The theme we here was to, 80s. So we'll to with less amount of people, maybe. But people definitely were dressed as 80s. Oh, so once are we outside? Mm. We'll kind of go from there. Ooh, you got F class. F class is here. Look at all these neon, neon furry signs. It looks like they have a lot of their same stuff that they had at Enter Northwest debut. Lots of cool stuff. Huh? I think I agree with you. Oh, there's Hyde Herb Studio. <laughs> there we are. There's our next door neighbor, too. A much larger area than Las Vegas Hurricanes. It just opened, so it's pretty crowded too. There's lemon There's brat. Cool fursuits cool by Lemon Brat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we are. We're doing it. Oh god. Oh! There's Kite again. So check out the outside layer first. Oh, no, there's Boss Circle. Oh, boy. Here we go. What, what's going on with this boot? Full of stuff. Weasel gear. Weasel gear. I see these guys all the time. I see weasel gear. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Oh. There's also another booth that's like really big. Hi! <laughs> Move out of the way! Kite's in the in charge now. This guy, uh, this guy has pause stars. Definitely has like a very big booth. Like, hmm. I recognize him from back when I was a kid. Still going to like anime conventions. So you know what? Let's just keep going. We'll circle keep going, back. Kite. We'll we're gonna go, go through. We got more. We also got some Garfield. Are you are you familiar with Garfield? You should be. Garfield, best Garfield. Ooh, another group of tables. Absolutely. We got Ooh, pizza mushroom. plushes and mushroom plushes. Yeah, to come back for these props. We got these we got prop items. Sick of all the ads like this one? Are Just you sick of everything? Com. Click on like activate ads. Now. <laughs> we actually got a lot of filming in here, oh, so I'm gonna have to ask. Are you are you yeah. media? Uh, I'm are a you a pizza? Okay, sorry, never mind. <laughs> are you As human? You yep. I need to know. <laughs> No, I understand. I'm actually on on the con photo team. <laughs> I'm part of the con photo team. Damn you! Didn't you get my credentials? <laughs> that girl's really sad. <laughs> Here we are. I'm gonna see Kite again for the mirror. We're in the mirror world. Right now. Some literature here. So much so that it's going to be NSFW literature. Literature time! Remember when people used to read books? Well, they still do. If you're a, if you're a book enjoyer. Stories, a lot of more sat blocks, like a DD character. Got some plushies. You can find me in this book too. Kites in this book. inside of the module. So you should go check it out. It's the Book of Delvin. Ooh. We got some more. I should say the deck of Delvin. We got Tomo Studios. Aw, oh, yeah. We got more furry gear. Oh, God. 
Someone's all blurry. Focus! Focus, Kite! Damn you! Fursuit glasses? I've seen those guys before. I love your boots. It is amazing. Huh? I think you've won, like, best boots yeah, set up Oakley. of the Oakley. con. Oh, you. Do you mind if I come in closer? Right, go ahead. Absolutely. Look at all these glasses. Wow, I need to get a pair. I'm sorry, I think I can't see as well as I used to. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> big glasses, big all the time. Let's go. I'm definitely going to have to get some sunglasses, I think. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I think I just keep walking. <laughs> oh, got Elma. Oh, yeah. Got onion cakes. Hey, you guys. Watch your videos. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, oh like gosh, I, I, yes, you want to be on a video? Yes, I'm actually one of the DJs. Wow. Oh, awesome. I'll it's DJ time again. with yeah, Kite. Today at 12. I will try to be there. I, I, please watch my videos. My I mean, my, my DJ oh, really? set kite. Yes. Please. Oh, I can't wait to. Wait, am I in a video right now? Yeah, you're in a video right now. Oh, right 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 right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I watch your videos. You go to every oh, con. Well, thank you. Oh, do you want to be, this is my best friend, Sean. This is their, this is their best friend, Sean. There you go. There Hello, you go. it's a Sean. <laughs> the best friend. Amazing. Did you know that? Oh, thank you. Love your first season. Have any questions? Let me know. I see. Oh, so much, <laughs> so much positive, awesome stuff. A lot of, a lot of crazy stuff here. Golden State for a con. We're gonna do it. Oh, yeah. here we go, walking through. Oh, hopefully there's like little hand shots where, where there's like rotating shots where it just goes like. Oh, so spooky! Is a kite. I'm not sure if it actually <laughs> works, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I have a problem too much coming. Ooh. I'll make people dizzy. Got sharp up close. Huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -mm 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 -mm. More kite shots. Mirror world. Give me two. Can I purchase some Garfield stuff? Oh, we got some Luna stuff. Got some more Luna stuff. Base Luna. And Sharkaroni. Sharkaroni. I think we only have one more roll. Ooh, nice tail. I like that head. I mean, it was a lot of vendors uh, this year, which was really cool. A lot of things happening. And all that oh, and there's our booth right there. Hide Hermit Studio time. How are you? Huh? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, they always see me behind. <laughs> you can never see my real face. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, perfect, yeah. Well, so, thank you. Yeah, if anybody could just say Thor said it's all right. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, thank you, friend. Here we go. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I love your suit. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. It's cute. Aw. Thank you, Aww. Thank you sir. You can buy it for $2 million. Hello. Mm. Whoa, your suit is super cool, too. I love it. That is awesome. It's a monkey. Monkey suit. Monkey. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> and I guess that's it for the dealer's den. So hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough. We the got the walkthrough of the dealer's den. Uh, we did it, chat. We time. made it through a walkthrough. We finally did it. Did it. Probably. Hopefully it was worse. Oh, I'll see you. Make memories with Get Your God. Make Unforgettable travel memories. experiences. Veggie popple bowls are made with real veg. All right. So it looks like here. Let's go ahead and turn this on here. So 
We're probably going to be ending this stream here soon. So check this out. So we're going to go back here. Boom. So, hey, thanks, everyone, for stopping by here at Hyde Hermit Studio. Uh, coming up next month, uh, actually, not next month, but this, uh, this month here, uh, we are going to be at Level Up Expo uh, on April 26th uh, through the 28th, located over in, uh, in Las Vegas here. So, if you happen to be in Vegas, uh, please check us out, because we're going to be there 100%. It's going to be really fun for... Level Expo. Actually, Kite's going to be there, too. So he's going to do a walkthrough over at Level Up Expo as well, which I'm super excited to uh, commentate on that as well. So let's just go ahead and raid somebody right now. So we're going to go ahead and raid somebody. That's right. You know what? Let's go ahead and raid... Um, uh, who, who's on the roster here? Let's see. We're going to take on that. gonna raid a young street let's go and raid young street let's do that there we go so anyways if you want to support the stream you can go to our website at www.hidehermitstudio.com or just subscribe to us or simply just watch the ads so that way that helps keep the stream going and all that wacky jazz so let's just go ahead and do the countdown all right so let's do this 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you and bye bye. And don't forget to say hide surprise to Youngstreet. Thank you. Bye bye.